not using online marketplaces. Madhu wanted to dispose her sofa set. She posted the ad on the website, which is an online marketplace for second-hand goods. After posting, there was an enquiry from a fraudster offering to pay Rs. 15,000 for her sofa set. Madhu felt very happy. Pay online before picking up the furniture. Okay, fine. Please share your account number. My account number is 9841465869 I will first send rupees 100 before making the final payment to verify the account. The fraudster sent rupees 100 to Madhu's account and asked for confirmation for the final payment. Okay. Then the fraudster sent a UPI request for receiving a payment of rupees 14,900 instead of paying Madhu. It is asking for my PIN. Why should I enter the PIN? As per the bank rules, the PIN needs to be entered for high value transactions. Madhu entered the PIN immediately and her account was debited for Rs 14,900. Realizing that she was cheated, Madhu quickly complained on the same day. Let's see the do's of fraud using online marketplaces. Remember, UPI PIN is required only to make a payment and is not required to receive any payment. Report the incident to the nearest cybercrime police station. Let's see the don'ts of fraud using online marketplaces. Don't share OTP or confidential account details with strangers. Don't enter the UPI PIN to receive an amount from another person.